Hi friends, welcome to another First Look. Today we're going to take a kind of a quick look at Springfield Armory's new XDM Elite 4.5 OSP. Uh, it's an XDM because it's got a match trigger and a match barrel and the OSP means it's got a red dot sight uh, capability which this one has their new hex sight and I think what's important to me is the fact that it's 10 millimeter, it holds 16 shots, let's shoot it. As you can see, this is a handful of gun, but it delivers just this like wall of lead at whatever seems to be the problem that you might have at that particular minute. We previously looked at the 3.8 version, which is basically a smaller size of this. Uh, in this one here, they've kind of biggie sized everything, yet they're able to keep the grip really comfortable. I have pretty small hands and with this stock, I think this is the medium size insert on the back, it actually is very comfortable. This is very nicely rounded and with this sort of grenade texture, uh, I was able to actually get a really good firm firing grip on this gun, which led to my ability to control it as you saw in the video. 4.5 inch barrel. Uh, I really like the fact that from the original series, they've sort of increased the distance between the uh, serrations on the front and the rear. Uh, it's got the hex sight, which is really rugged, heavy duty. A lot of sights have a really thin housing. And if you've had any experience with that, you know that if you drop them, especially if they land there, uh, they almost always break the glass. And so this is pretty much indestructible. It's got your typical new bold U sights on it uh, with a fiber optic front sight. The only thing is that the sights don't co-index and so you know I kind of wish they did and so I suspect that there are some uh, aftermarket options to be able to get you some sights that you can actually see through the red dot just in case. It's got a loaded chamber indicator on the top which lifts up when there's a cartridge in the chamber. Remember though that just tells you there's something in the chamber. It doesn't tell you if it's really a loaded cartridge or not so you have to be savvy about that. I like the fact it's got this flat match trigger and it is actually a really good crisp trigger on these guns. It's fully ambidextrous so we have two uh, magazine releases and two slide releases. A lot of people complain about the fact that uh, some guns have grip safeties but I have never found it to be an issue. If you have a firing grip on the gun then you are pressing that in but I like the fact that without that grip safety pressed the gun can't fire period. A lot of people are comfortable with these little trigger flipper things. I like having that extra little feature. The gun comes with two magazines. Uh, they're marked 15 rounds. The Springfield's information on their website says 16 rounds. I, I was able to get 15 in pretty easily. I think if you work at it, uh, especially once the spring takes a little bit of a set, you could get that 16th in there. But 15 and one certainly isn't anything to uh, shake your finger at. I really like the fact that just about, no matter how you start this magazine in this mag well, it goes in. I mean, it doesn't forward, backward, sideways. I mean, it always goes in. It's like a grease pig down a chute. This gun is based on the original HS2000 series Springfield brought in from Croatia. The HS2000 just didn't have the marketing campaign behind it. So when Springfield got a hold of it, uh, made some significant and important engineering changes uh, and then ran with it, well then this whole market kind of exploded for them. And since then we've seen many iterations of the XD series. And I think this XDM really is the best of the breed so far. A lot of people are afraid of the fearsome recoil of the 10 millimeter, and actually it's just not at all. The key here, at least for me, is a high firm firing grip, or uh, squeeze the gun as hard as you can, essentially. And then I use the old school sort of revolver thumb over thumb. Uh, I can't hang on to it, thumbs forward. So uh, I'll just kind of give you that demonstration again. So here we go. Really, other than a lot of noise and some banging and clanging of the steel, it's very controllable and you could absolutely dump this magazine into a charging bear or a charging anything else. 
Okay, we're set up here at about 15 yards. I've got, I don't know, five or six shots in the gun. Um, I also wanted to share, I put on my iPal, and <laughs> interestingly, it just works like a little aperture sight, and it, it actually will really sharpen even a red dot sight, because if you need glasses, even a red dot can be blurry. And uh, so it's made by iPal. Here you go, there'll be a link in the description. And uh, is it an endorsement? Absolutely. <laughs> I shoot much better with it including shooting with iron sights. So let's see what happens with this, okay? I'm just gonna take my time. We'll see if we can shoot at least a decent group. All right, here we go. If it wasn't 95 degrees and <laughs> full of bugs out here, we probably could have done a little better than that. And, uh, and don't forget, check out this iPal. I'm here to tell you, they actually work. Okay, we're gonna do an unscientific test which proves absolutely nothing other than it's fun to shoot a one gallon water jug with a hot 10 millimeter. This is a 180 at about 1250 uh, over the chronograph. So let's see if it makes a big mess. I suspect it will. Here we go. I think the proper term would be, ouch. Well, as you can see with that water jug, there's a lot going on when you're shooting a 10 millimeter. I hope uh, you like this gun as much as I do. I'm afraid this is a keeper. Uh, it pretty much could do anything you would ever need a serious defensive handgun to do. I mean, a lot of people bandy about that low end 41 Magnum and that's the same as a 10 millimeter and it is very close i mean if you're shooting a 180 at 1200 feet per second i mean there's nothing to sneeze at there so uh the size makes it easily controllable it's got an excellent trigger it's got good sights uh, the only thing i would do differently is put some taller co-indexing sights on it but that's an easy fix so it's got springfield armory's uh, reputation and the uh, history of engineering excellence that they uh, have maintained and so at 835 dollars give or take a little bit uh, i really think it's a lot of gun for the money and probably the last one of this sort of thing you would ever need to buy. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in, and uh, remember the four firearm safety rules. Uh, make a comment down below. I'll keep an eye on things and answer whatever questions or comment back to you if I can. And uh, I think that's about everything. So until the next time, stay safe.